Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another video. This time we're gonna be doing a fragrance haul video. So it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, in the past, I tried to do one of these every month or so just to give you guys an idea of what I would pick up each month. But lately, I really haven't been doing them that often, mostly because for a while there, I really wasn't buying that many fragrances. I kind of cut back, and because the, I couldn't really make haul videos when I wasn't buying that many fragrances, it wouldn't really be that interesting. I was kind of feeling uninspired. There weren't that many fragrances catching my eye. I was getting a lot of samples of fragrances, but I wasn't actually buying a lot of bottles. I just wasn't really feeling it. There wasn't many fragrances sticking out to me. But here within the past month or so, um, i kind of been getting back into it a little bit. I've been trying to pick up some stuff here and there, mostly just for reviews for you guys. But nonetheless, I have been picking up some more stuff, so I figured I would go ahead and put together a haul video. So this is going to be all the fragrances I picked up in April, so last month. Mostly designers here, I have one niche fragrance in here, or actually two niche fragrances in here. This isn't the biggest haul that I've done, but it's better than nothing. So. Without further ado, let's go and jump into this. Starting off, we have Hollister Free Wave. So this is one of the newest flankers to Hollister Wave. Um, there's three of them now. There's Hollister Wave, um, and then there's one other one, and then there's this newest one, Hollister Free Wave. This is a pretty pleasant smelling scent. It's nothing unique, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it does smell nice. I do plan on getting a review on this one out here pretty soon. Um, you could pick this one up for around $20 or so for a 100 ml bottle on eBay. So it's very, very affordable at that price. It's pretty hard to beat. And it's one that I wanted to check out and I'm glad I did because it is pretty pleasant, projects pretty well, it lasts pretty long. Um, it's just a nice scent with good performance. Um, it is kind of generic, but that is what you would expect from a Hollister fragrance, but nonetheless, it is still a nice scent. And also, by the way, these are not in any particular order. Um, they're just kind of in whatever order I pick them out and place them in the video. Up next, we have Prada Lunarosa Carbon. So I did a full-on review on this fragrance not too long ago, about a week ago. You can check that out for more details. This stuff gets compared to Sauvage quite often. Um, and it is very similar to Sauvage. In my opinion and in my personal preference, I actually prefer the smell of this over Sauvage. This really takes that sharp metallic piercing quality um, that Sauvage has and basically just completely gets rid of it. It basically just rounds it off, smooths it off, gives it a little bit more of a sweet quality to it. Basically just takes that type of DNA and just refines it a little bit, smooths it out, maybe makes it a little bit more mature, um, just less scratchy, um, just makes it more pleasant to the nose overall. That is one of the main complaints people have with Sauvage is the fact that it comes across very synthetic, which it does. This fragrance really does a good job of toning that down and just kind of, you know, smoothing it out and making it more pleasant overall. Like I said earlier, in terms of smell, I prefer Prada Carbon over Sauvage just because I love how refined it is. I love the lavender sweetness that's amped up in this one. I just really like how this smells better. However, you can't beat the performance that Sauvage has. This one just doesn't really hold up at all, at least compared to Sauvage anyway. This doesn't perform bad, but it's not nearly as good as Sauvage. And that's part of the reason why I like Sauvage so much is because I can spray it on just a couple sprays and I know it's gonna last me throughout the entire day and then some uh, with good projection and sillage throughout the whole day. So that is the one downside of Prada Carbon is it doesn't perform as good as Sauvage, but it's also not awful either. So um, just to quickly touch on it there, if you want more details, go check out that review. Up next, we have another bottle of Roja Parfums Elysium, uh, the Parfum Cologne 100 ml bottle. Um, I have one over there already. Um, I ended up splitting some of it out just because a lot of people were requesting that I split that fragrance. A lot of people have been wanting to try it for summertime because this time of year is perfect for this fragrance. And like I said, a lot of people were asking if I was splitting it and I ended up finding a good deal on a brand new bottle of Elysium. I picked this one up for $210 uh, shipped brand new in the box. Uh, so I figured I would just go ahead and split some out of my old bottle, uh, share it to some of you guys, and then just pick myself up a new one. So that's pretty much what I did. And if you're wondering how I did that, definitely check out the link down below over to my decanting course, or if you head on over to chaosfragrances.com, you can check it out there. In that course, I cover how you can decant um, everything from actually decanting out of the bottle, what supplies you need, how to set your prices, how to sell on Facebook and on eBay. Um, it just helps you make your money back so you can buy more fragrances and not have to spend any of your money out of pocket. That's what I did with this. So I essentially ended up getting this bottle 
basically for free uh, by the time I was done splitting the other one. I still have some left in my old bottle and I get to keep the bottle as well. Uh, so it's a really, really nice process that pretty much anyone can do. Like I said, I cover everything in the course down below. Um, I don't hide anything. Um, I tell you exactly what you need and how to do it. So if you've been interested in wanting to get started, but you don't want to you know, make a lot of mistakes um, when you're starting off, definitely check out that link down below. I don't need to explain Elysium to you guys because you already know my thoughts on it. One of my favorite scents of all time. And here in the summertime, in the springtime, that's when this one really shines. Just a really, really nice fragrance. I actually layered this with Aventus the other day and it worked out really, really good. Um, so just a great fragrance right here. Uh, the bottle is gorgeous as well. This bottle is in a lot better shape than my old one. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my um, Elysium comparison video of the Extrait and the Parfum Cologne I did when I got these last summer. But my Parfum Cologne bottle came relatively scratched up from the factory. That's an issue that um, these blue bottles from Roja um, had in the past. I'm not sure if they fixed that completely. I'm um, looking at my bottle under the light here. It looks pretty good So they might have fixed that or if I just got lucky with this one, uh, but I'm happy either way We'll go ahead and knock out the second niche fragrance. I picked up real quick. That one is Zerzhov 40 knots So this is one that I've been trying to pick up for a long time now I really wasn't finding any good deals of it on Facebook or anything like that Every time I would find a post where someone was selling it by the time I would get there, it would already be sold. Um, I just could never really get there in time uh, to get my hands on it. But finally, um, just last month, I was able to get there and get my hands on this bottle. So this is the older bottle style, which is what I was looking for. Um, the newer ones are more rounded off looking. Um, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with those. I'm not sure if they would have reformulated the fragrance or not. Um, I haven't tried any from the new bottles. But I just wanted to play it safe and I wanted to try to snag um, this bottle if I could I ended up getting it for I think $150 and it's missing like 10 mils or so so it's a 40 mil uh, Partial for about 150 bucks, which I was perfectly okay with paying that because I've been looking for this one for a long time And the scent itself is really really nice It's very warm and rich and woody a little bit spicy not at all what I was expecting um, it is not anything like any other marine scent that I've smelled or that I own and that's something that is really nice That's something I was looking forward to a lot of people were saying that it is very unique and it definitely is so um, I am going to do a review on this one at some point, most likely here in the future, uh, so stay tuned for that if you want more info. But in terms of a nice, unique marine scent, this one is awesome. So worth checking out if you're into that sort of thing, and that is Zerzhov 40 Knots. Up next we have Dior Aqua Fahrenheit. So this is another one that I did a review on already, you can check out. This is a pretty nice scent, this is the um, splash and spray bottle, so the cap will come off and you can just unscrew this like so and um, just splash it on. Also makes it easy to decant because you can use a pipette, makes it really easy. Um, and from my knowledge, this is actually discontinued. So if you are looking for this version of Fahrenheit, the Aqua Fahrenheit, definitely be on the hunt now, trying to find it on eBay or whatever if you can, because once it gets really hard to find, um, the prices are gonna go way up. I really like this scent though. It smells really, really nice. In terms of summer fragrances, it's very unique. Um, it's not like anything I've ever smelled before, which is always a plus when it comes to looking for something that's a little bit more unique and something that's a little bit more attention grabbing for summertime. It has violet, grapefruit, leather, um, just smells really nice. I get this like cucumber smell from it also, which is pretty unique. Um, it smells good though, I really like it. Um, it's just a very nice scent, really, really good for summertime. Like I said, no one around you is probably going to be smelling like this, so if you are after something that not everyone's wearing, um, definitely check this one out, it's really good stuff. The performance is good, the smell is fantastic, the quality is great because it is a Dior. It is pretty versatile for the spring and summertime, probably for all year round if you wanted to, honestly. Uh, more suited for spring and summertime though. Uh, so like I said, if you're looking for something unique, something a little bit different to check out for summer, definitely check this one out and get it while you can before the prices go way up. We've got a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance next. This one is 21 Le Faux. So I did a review on this one as well. You can check out. In short, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. There's something about it, at least on my skin, the way it comes off, I just don't like it that much. It's just kind of off-putting to me. It does get a little bit better for me the more I smell it. 
Um, I do start to get used to it a little bit and I can appreciate it somewhat, uh, but for the most part, it's just something that I just don't like that much. I'm probably not going to wear it. I'll probably end up selling this bottle or at some point, um, I was able to pick it up for I think 20 or $25 off FragranceNet and to get a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance you know, at that price, a 100 ml bottle for 20, 25 bucks, that's a really, really good price. So I was really curious to check it out um, and I can see why it probably is at that price. They're fragrance that's probably trying to get rid of all of them because they aren't selling that much if I had to guess. I just don't like the scent that much. It is still nice though and it's something that if you're into that type of note breakdown you can go check out that review where I tell you more details on how this smells. It can be worth checking out if you can still find it for that price. For me personally I'm not the hugest fan of it. On to the second to last fragrance I picked up last month we have Guess 1981 Indigo. So this stuff is a really, really nice, cheap fragrance for summer. Pick this one up for about $20 off of eBay. Really, really good price. It's a 100 ml bottle. It's a very unique scent. Um, out of almost all of the cheap fragrances that I've been picking up here lately, um, this one is probably my favorite, to be honest with you. I really like this one because it's something new. Um, it has an interesting note breakdown. It has coconut, fig, iris. It's just a very interesting mix of notes. There's also cedar wood in there, which is kind of an odd mix when it mixes with coconut because you have this nice sweet coconut, this dry cedar wood, then that iris and that fig. It's just a very unique blend of notes. It just doesn't really smell like anything that you've smelled before and that's something that's nice and refreshing considering a lot of the cheaper fragrances in that price range of about $20 are going to be pretty generic and are going to smell a lot alike. This one though really does something different and I appreciate that. I like the scent, uh, the performance is okay, uh, the smell is really nice in my opinion. Just a good summer scent overall, definitely worth checking out for $20. The last fragrance I picked up last month, CK1 Summer 2018. So I've done a full review on this one as well, you can go ahead and check that out. Um, this smells nice, definitely nothing unique, nothing groundbreaking. Picked this one up for about $20 online, which is about the average price you can get these uh, CK1 Summer fragrances once they hit discounters. So that's, you know, a solid price. So guys, that is it. That is my fragrance haul for last month. Let me know down below what you guys picked up last month, and that's going to do it, guys. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.